everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're back at Disney California Adventure to go to Avengers Campus for the first time in almost six months. We have an update for you because there's a lot of new food here. There's new drinks. There's new characters from the latest Marvel movies and TV shows, including Moon Knight and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, there's even some new merchandise. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited because, like he said, we haven't been here in so long. So come with us on this adventure. came a few months late, but they finally have a tribute to Stan Lee, a dedication to the man himself. And that's actually very cool. But interestingly, this isn't the only one of these pillars outside of Avengers Campus. There's one on the other side of the entryway, which makes me wonder, are they gonna give another tribute? Is it gonna be like a dedication to like Jack Kirby or something? Maybe someday. Maybe Kevin Feige? Also, right at the entrance of Avengers Campus, there's a brand new magic photo op, and I, I think they like superimpose you to look like Scarlet Witch. One of the things that we're really excited to see today is Scarlet Witch is here from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and she's a brand new character to the land, and I absolutely love her. Are you scared of her? Is the question. No, I, I, you know, I got a little bit of a, a dark tendency inside <laughs> of me, so I'm gonna give her some compliments. Hello. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. You as well. What's your name? My name's Kitra. Kitra. Yes. I'm Wanda. Nice to meet you, Wanda. So yeah, I just wanted to say that you're a wonderful mother, and Fairview seems like such a beautiful community. Westview. Westview. Oh my God. That's Fairview. Okay. Wow. <laughs> fake fan. I know, fake fan. I wanted to know, who is your favorite Disney witch? I don't think I know. But I do have my favorite people in the entire world, and that's Billy and Tom. My children are the most important to me, and I will do anything for them. <laughs> the reason I called it Fairview is because that's the kind of milk that I drink. <laughs> and I, I bought some at the store recently. Sure. I'll put a photo of it right up here. You don't even watch Marvel yes, movies I do. or TV shows. But Fairview, the milk was on my mind. But she's a very, she's she's great. Yeah. I don't I don't. I love her costume. Me too. It looks really good. Yeah. Like they did a great job. Even her fingers are like black and yeah. love Who, it. Who's your favorite Disney witch? Probably Ursula. Yeah, I'd pick she's like the Sanderson Swift sisters. Can I pick all three? Oh, well, you know, you know the good one. She's my favorite witch. <laughs> I feel like I put her on the spot with the witch's question. I should have said, who's your favorite Disney villain? That would have been like, got nervous. As witches, you know, Scarlet Witch is. Finally, a year later, they have some new food at Pim's Test Kitchen. We're excited to try it out. What we're gonna have today is the elote pretzel. This is five ounce pretzel topped with corn three ways. Cilantro, sprigs, radish, cotija, and flavored crema. And it's much smaller than the pretzel that we had yeah, last time. Yeah, I think that's why they, they're like, it's five ounces so you don't get confused. But look at this thing. It looks like something you'd get like food and wine, right? Like it looks really, really tasty. They didn't mention it, but those look like they're like 
little like they shrunk some popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't even know where to dig in here. Oh. What? <laughs> oh my god, it has some spice at the end. This is amazing. This is incredible. It doesn't even really taste like a pretzel. It's more like you get that elote taste to it. So if you like elote, if you like roasted corn, and you gotta be okay with some spice because it, it has it packs a punch. <laughs> five out of five Peters. I think we need Kitra to try this because this is an ordinary adventure star contender. First of all, you gotta squeeze the lime on there. You messed up already. Oh, I didn't even see the lime. You're right. Whenever you have a long day. <laughs> Isn't it flavorful? Dang. So it doesn't say what the crema is, but my guess is it's like a chipotle spice kind of crema. This is very, very flavorful. And I agree with you. This is probably the best thing right now at Kim's Test Kitchen. Like, without a doubt, Ordinary Adventure Star. You know what? This packs a punch of flavor in a, a little package. That's, That's what, not what I said. <laughs> Peter's like, you gotta say this. What did you want me to say? It packs, packs a, a punch. It, it might be a small pretzel, but it packs a... <laughs> and you know what? This might be a small pretzel, but it packs a bunch of flavor. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay, so... We, I was originally going to eat this all by myself, but now I feel like you're going to want to share with me. Yeah, I want it. Okay, we could share. That was so spicy that I need to wash it down with this brand new drink. This is the Flying Embers Hard Kombucha Orange Passion Mimosa, and it's citry tangy kombucha with hints of passion fruit and guava. So I was kind of unclear what this actually was. What I think it is is a hard kombucha, which is almost like a hard cider, and then it has that passion orange juice so that makes it a mimosa that's my guess i don't really know i've never had a hard kombucha before so this is a first Ooh, wow this is really good it's very sour and tangy but very refreshing it almost just tastes like i'm drinking the juice with nothing else <laughs> <laughs> so it's dangerous uh, uh -oh. is what you're saying yeah it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to send you into a different multiverse. There we go. <laughs> I, you'd never know it was kombucha. This probably gets like a four out of five. This might be one of my new go-tos here. I like it a lot. They also have a new non-alcoholic drink at Pimp's Test Kitchen. This is the Proton Punch. This has lemonade, berry puree on bottom, cherry flavored boba, and grenadine filled pipette. 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 <laughs> okay, well we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. This looks like something Scarlet Witch would be into, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Should I stir it? Uh, yeah, let's stir it a little. I don't have a straw, so I don't think I'm gonna get much of that like berry puree on the bottom. Let's try it. It's kind of like a cherry lemonade. Ooh. I like it. Would I get it over like the Honey Buzz or one of the alcoholic beverages? Probably not. But if you have like one of your little superheroes here. <laughs> They'd probably give this a 5 or out of 5. Or one of your little witches. Little witches, yeah. They'd probably give it a 5 out of 5 witches. What would you give it? I'd give it like a 3.5 out of 5 theaters. We actually saw Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness last week at the world premiere, which was really cool because they had all the costumes from the film lined up on Hollywood Boulevard. It's always cool to see those in person. And no spoilers for the movie, but at one point in the movie, they're in a different multiverse, and there is someone that presents a food item, a pizza ball. Disney, bring the pizza balls to Avengers Campus. I want to, I want to eat the pizza ball. Can you imagine if they started serving pizza balls here? They'd be so good. I don't need help. Intruders, step aside. I won't ask a second time. Now we'd like to thank BarkBox and SuperTurex for sponsoring today's video. I've been a BarkBox subscriber for seven years, ever since we got Pixel. 
Pixel loves it, Gizmo loves it. Every month they get two new toys, they get two bags of all natural treats and one delicious healthy chew to enjoy. And every month the boxes have a new theme. For the month of May, BarkBox and Super Chewer have Star Wars inspired theme, which means that you have some fun toys inspired by both the dark side and the Jedi. So you can find out which side of the force calls your pups. I think Gizmo is being called by the dark side. Our dogs prefer BarkBox's plush toys, but they also offer a super chewer box for those dogs who like to play hard. If you sign up right now at BarkBox.com slash Ordinary Adventures or SuperChewer.com slash Ordinary Adventures, you'll get a free extra toy each month with a six month plan. And if you sign up in the month of May, you could get one of these cool Star Wars boxes as your first delivery. And now back to this adventure. Look at this. She has a Captain America shield of pins. And you trade these pins with people? Yeah. Only superheroes, yeah. right? Meet me at the Shorma Palace. I will not ask you a second time. <laughs> Next up, we're going to Shorma Palace because they have some new superhero sippers inspired by Doctor Strange and the Multiverse Madness. This is the brand new sipper to hit Avengers Campus. It's the Eye of Agamotto sipper. And there's a little straw that comes up right here. And who actually puts their their drink in the sipper? This yeah, is choose like if you put more than a certain amount, it'll like break. The cool thing about this is if you push this little button right over here, it actually lights up. Ooh, don't look into the eye, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I like this a lot. And then I think if you unscrew it here, you can actually replace the battery. So that's kind of nice. And then that also makes this, I think more washable because yeah. usually when you have batteries you can't like, wash it. Yeah, knowing me, <laughs> I'd ruin it somehow. Then you just pop it back on and you could turn it off. The thing that goes around your neck, it actually says Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So demonstrate how, how what it would look like if you were drinking out of the Eye of Agamotto zipper. Right. Oh, how does Doctor Strange do? Sure, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be giving this away. Yeah. Find out how to win later in this video. Yeah. It's not what he does at all. interesting now that the characters can freely roam around Avengers Campus, it's not like they're set up in designated spots. Black Panther and the Dora Milaje are just like walking around Avengers Campus. Like he was like holding two kids' hands, like just walking around, taking photos. But it's almost, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing because there's like a whole like entourage of guests like running after them, hoping that they can get a photo or have an interaction. This costume is like the greatest costume of all time. Do those does it like twirl in the wind? Yes. Yeah. They catch the wind up though. Wow. Your best like Doctor Strange pose. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So right now we're gonna take a break from food and merch and go on an actual ride. We're going on Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout because the Guardians need to be broken free. And I want to show you a couple Easter eggs that one of which I recently learned from my friend Kevin that you want to see from Moon Knight. Tivian the Collector has a lot of things in his collection. One thing that many people don't know, if you look up in the main room, you might see a little dragon, a little purple dragon from Epcot hanging in one of those cages. Ow! That was not part of the plan! What? Of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the smart one. <laughs> Listen up, he's gonna put you on a gantry lift for your tour. I'm gonna sneak on top of your lift and take us all the way to the big old generator control room. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy all the control systems, which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends. In the pre-show scene, when you're in the collector's office and you're talking to Rocket, there's a lot of artifacts in the cabinets around you. And if you're in the correct room, one of the objects you might recognize if you watch the show Moon Knight. Uh, my friend Kevin spotted it, so here's a photo from Kevin 
we were not in the correct room, so I can't show you video footage. But it's a statue of Khonshu, who is, you know, the Egyptian god responsible for moon dust. I guess the real question is, do you think they added that recently, or has that been there the whole time and we just never noticed it? Some of the signs down here are only in, in alien language, but some people have translated them to English because other of the signs have it in both languages. So we were able to, you know, that's do and that's do. So that's D and that's O. And people have translated everything in here. Don't scan. Oh. You may now enter the gantry list. They will actually become part of our permanent collection. That's how we get a lot of our exhibits, actually. <laughs> it's crazy how many things we get. All right, my friends. I do hear that rabbit is trying to get up out the guardian, so whatever you do, don't help them out, okay? Please don't help them out, okay? <laughs> Sorry, something's in my eye. I don't know what that was. So whatever you do, please don't go to the generator on the fourth floor and destroy that. Okay, bye. That ride is awesome. In my opinion, it's actually better than Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Come at me, I know people are not gonna like that take, but it's more fun. And I wanna point out a couple other Easter eggs. Right before you get into the office area, in the middle, there's a painting featuring Jeff Goldblum's The Grand Master and Tivian, The Collector. I'm not sure if you know this, but they're actually brothers and they're playing a game of cards. It's kind of a cool piece of media connecting the two. And the other thing is, a lot of people like to complain that before this plaque that we mentioned earlier, that Stan Lee didn't have a presence in Avengers Campus. Well, he actually is featured in Avengers Campus in Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. He has a cameo in the, the video segment in the first room. So, there you go. I know, I know it's not a new presence, but he, he is here forever and ever, trapped inside the Fighter's Fortress. That ride is no joke. I feel like I got some serious airtime. What about you? Yeah. Like my butt was off the seat, probably at least like two feet. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. It was like the Velocicoaster all over again. Yeah, I feel very nauseous. So I thought I'd get myself a little treat. Right when you exit Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, you find Terran Treats. And this is where they serve the sweet spiral ration. This one is raspberry flavored. For the longest time, they had a pineapple one that was green. This one is yellow, and apparently it tastes like raspberries. Doesn't look that yellow. It looks like brown. So back on Earth, this is what Earthlings call a churro. So this is kind of like a churro. It's just spiral shaped. I don't think there's any cinnamon. It's just sugar. I don't think I like that. It almost tastes like it's like burnt or something. Is it overcooked? I don't know. It, it is it, a little bit softer on the inside. I love this bright yellow flavor. But bright, it's bright yellow flavor? I love this bright yellow color. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> Maybe that's why, I don't know. But it's like a sour raspberry. I don't like this. It's not as good as the one that was there before. The pineapple one was actually really good. But something about the flavors of this, I just, I don't really enjoy. I'll be the judge of this. Tastes like it's burnt, like a burnt churro. I don't like it. I don't like the aftertaste. Like a one out of five, Peter. This gets a negative for me. Let Chris <laughs> confirm. It leaves a gross taste in your mouth after. Yeah, it's like a burnt churro. <laughs> and no raspberry. Ugh. I feel like it's not supposed to taste like this. I feel like this is just a bad, bad. bad, bad. Should we go buy another one? It's a bad patch. <laughs> How many spiral rations do we need? Yeah. I mean, Thanos collected them all. 
so. Very true. I'm, I'm taking this video of Kitra. Here's the thing is I almost cut off my whole <laughs> foot, but it's all healed. <laughs> did you plan that or did you just see him coming? I saw him coming. No, he texted me, so oh. I... <laughs> oh my god! So I, 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 I was like, turn this way, I'll... I'll... <laughs> oh my god, I'm choking. Yeah, you made me turn this way. I was oh like, my god. what are you trying to do? In. I was coming in hot. Yes. How are you? Oh, so good to see you. Oh, Peter, I love the haircut. You are looking very dapper, very, very. <laughs> Thank like, you. Very chic. Thank you. So it's so good to see you guys. Yeah. Good to see you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. We just did Guardian, so I feel a little barfy, but besides. <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm I mean, not like better. you after how many space mountains and oh, how many churros? Yeah, the churro challenge that was a disaster. <laughs> Twelve and a half. That was brutal. Oh my gosh. Walking to cool. Scarlet Witch and I totally messed up and I called it Fairview even though it's Westview. We should have called you to tell her a oh, good you, pun. You, what you should have done. You should have looked her right in the eyes and said, "I hear you can't see the future because you don't have vision." Oh! oh. <laughs> Too soon. Too, yeah, soon. too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. That's, it. That's terrible. Edit that out. <laughs> we are the guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> so our being tracked using body heat, right? And movement. All we gotta do is make a lot of heat. That should scramble the sensors and then Boy, I'm gonna plan. If this is anything like your other plans... For the sake of the galaxy, we need all of you to dance. Yeah! Woo! Ready to get loose? We're back to get up loose. And it's time for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Us to dance on to the Star Wars. Let's go. Another cool new beverage found in Avengers Campus can be found over at Pimm's Tasting Lab. That is where you usually find all your alcoholic concoctions. And this time, they've added some, like an option that is non-alcoholic, which is good for the kiddos. This one is the Popping Particle Punch. It's a non-alcoholic carbonated pineapple hurricane with grenadine and flavor bursts. What is a pineapple hurricane? I don't know. but. Those flavor bursts are definitely pop rocks. I can hear them popping. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, I don't think this looks that much like the photo. It looks more purple than the photo. Tell, tell me if you think it looks different. But anyways, I'm gonna try it out. Ooh, those pop rocks like give a nice like pop in your mouth. You can definitely taste the grenadine and pineapple. It almost tastes like, like a little bit of grape. Maybe that's like in my head because it's purple. It's a really like sweet, carbonated beverage so if you want something different from like the you know the coke freestyle machine that they have over at over next door this is like a great option i'd give this like a four to five peters wow but you know what i th i would honestly go with the pingo dose oh it's still popping in my mouth you know four and a half out of five peters i like i like the flavor burst that's right we came back and got another one because it was just that good. <laughs> so careful. So good. I don't think you guys have any idea how good it is. God. We're like, should we get another one? And then we were even debating like getting one each, and I was like, no, let's split it. Let's we'll split another one. <laughs> so good. We're right about the ordinary red star, right? Hundred percent. And now we're about to see the Doctor Strange show, and apparently there's a new trick and a special guest. <laughs>
much time, so pay close attention. This is the astral ring. It has more power than you can imagine, and Dormammu will do anything to get it. We need to hide it someplace Dormammu can't find it. And for that, I'll need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Caraberos. This cabinet serves as a vault for the most powerful relics of all time. The Wand of Batum and the Axe of Angarumus have at one time or another been hidden within. Okay, if anyone knew what those were, you'd be really impressed. <laughs> Thank you. But now, we need the Sorcerer's Silk. You see, the Astral Ring has a mind of its own, and it must be contained before it finds its way back to the Dark Dimension. This will hide the ring from Dormammu. It's safe, but I need you all to stay very aware. Notice any changes in the... <laughs> That's not good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back in time and recover the astral ring. All of you stay exactly where you are. I will be back five minutes ago. It won't be long before Dormammu realizes what we've done and that might lead him here to this ancient sanctum. I must turn a spectral energy to create a spectral shield to protect this campus ourselves and the astral ring. Come, my all seeing friend. Once again, I need your help. You see, the Soul Seeker has guided many heroes throughout the multiverse. However, her motives are as mysterious as the dark dimension itself. Oh, okay, friend. We don't have time for games. Okay, fine, we have time for one game. Great. She says she wishes for you to help us identify the hero we need to help us locate the spectral staff. Maybe a guardian of the galaxy? No, of course not. Could it be an adventure? An adventure? Could it be a young adventure? Ah, yes, the Young Avenger, everyone. Conjure in your mind a Young Avenger you think that can help us locate the Spectral Staff. When you have an Avenger in mind, I want you to raise your hand high so the Seeker will know. Spider-Man? I'm just going to warn you, when Spider-Man and I get together, very weird things happen. <laughs> America Chavez, you know what? That's a good choice. It's been very helpful to me. By the power of the Vishanti, bring me America Chavez from the Comertage. Quickly, 
By the power of the Nishanti, we create this spectral shield. We're ready to protect this campus, ourselves, and the trick that we were yeah. anticipating. And, and America Chavez is walking around the campus, so I'm going to go find her. Yeah, go get her. Okay. Um, Hi, everyone. Welcome to our universe. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I haven't found the pizza yet, so let me know if you find it. Okay. Shoulder, shoulder. Look over here. Oh! That was a moment! What is the strangest multiverse that you visited? Oh, definitely the paint universe, especially because you can't really eat there. Everything is paint. So oh, that's weird. Different. It is pretty weird. Yeah, what about you? Have you ever traveled the multiverse? No, I've only been to this this multiverse. You're pretty lucky. I have a feeling that this is going to be my favorite, at least for now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks well, for it's nice meeting you. Thank you. I wonder if she's been to the Hot Dog Fingers multiverse. Spoilers for everything, everywhere, all at once. once. Yeah. Wrong movie. Yeah. Wrong multiverse movie. You should go see that one. It's good. But do you think she has? I hope not. <laughs> one cool thing that Avengers Campus has been doing is they've been bringing the new heroes to the campus. They had the TV show Loki, and Loki was here. Eternals were here. We, ne we never got to meet them. Black Widow in her new costume. Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. Shang-Chi. The later editions of Oogie Boogie Bash. They had zombie Captain America from the animated What If TV series. Who would you want to see come to Avengers Campus next? Like, I think I would like to see Vision or... Um, I still want to just see Fat Thor. Just give me Fat I Thor. I know. <laughs> Fat Thor would have been good. Or I want to see Goose the Cat from Captain Marvel. You know who I'd like to see? I think Thor is going to be here. And by Thor, I mean the Natalie Portman Thor. Uh, once they have Thor and Love and Thunder. But the person I would like to see here, even though he doesn't really fit within the MCU yet, is Deadpool. How uh, cool would it be to interact with Deadpool around Avengers Campus? That would be interesting. I'd love that. And another new character that just recently debuted in Avengers Campus is Moon Knight and his alter identity, Mr. Knight. And I heard he is over by the entrance to Avengers Campus, so I'm, I'm running over there right now to, to meet him. So Mr. Knight is here, but apparently he's so popular that when he starts his meeting greets, they close they close it off almost immediately. So I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to talk to him today, but it does look cool and I like the smoke in the background. Dude, we finally got to see Mr. Knight. We still haven't seen Food Knight yet, but how awesome is that costume? It's so cool. It looks exactly like him. It does. I mean it is him, obviously. It what, does. Am I, what am I talking about? I wish we could talk to him, but they cut off the line. Oh, it's okay. I have nothing to say to him. She's making go luck with us! Thank you. Thank you. Black Widow is like hosting a fitness class or something? Nice. <laughs> what is going on here? I love Avengers Campus. I love Disneyland. And we've gotten a tip that Moon Knight might appear on top of Avengers Campus pretty shortly. I think, I think the Moon Knight is Tremundus. What? <laughs> okay, Chris, out of that all was, your puns, that, that, that was, was the really worst. the worst. I was trying so that hard. Not... My pun, it eclipsed me. Uh, oh! Could you, you're phasing out. It's basically I'm what you're oh, I'm phasing right? out. Exactly. I tried, Peter. I, I, it's for the moment stuff. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're waxing and waning. Did you see it? They, 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 they all can't be winners. Oh, they, they, none of them are winners. <laughs>
Yeah, I wish you'd come down here. We need moon night, uh, moon night down here. Spider-Man. Thank you. He complimented me on my shirt. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a cool shirt. He yeah. didn't say anything about my Star Wars shirt. He's like, wrong it, part. Get out of here. <laughs> Over in Web Suppliers, they have a bunch of new merchandise that we want to check out. These pesky little spider bots. We featured them before. You can buy the spider bots, and then you can also buy like these protective armor that are based on the different Avengers. Well, they have just come out with the Doctor Strange version, which is kind of cool. He has like his little protective disc shield thing. So this upgrade has protective leg armor, mystic portal, protector shield, a protective shell, of course, and unique sounds and light up eyes, it lights up green, and it has, it projects the Doctor Strange symbol. And the, one of the interesting things here, this was invented by America Chavez. There's also this brand new spirit jersey. On the front, it says WEB, which stands for the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. And what, what's cool about this is it almost looks like a Letterman jacket, like a school jacket or something. And on the back, WEB. Invent, empower. I really like this. Are you gonna get it? I kind of want it. Is that silly? I like it. I like when spirit jerseys are not just like Disney spirit jerseys, yeah. but they're like park related. Like, this is so specific. Yeah. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you're like, wow, why is that girl so cool? I wish I had that spirit jersey. <laughs> right? That's what people say. I, sure. We've shown you this before. This is the Web Tech Power Band. To be honest with you, I don't think it's selling that well. This is the device that you put on your arm and you can use it in the ride. And they have these attachments for it that will give you different powers on the ride and do, do different things. But they came out with a new one for Doctor Strange. And, you know, it looks stupid here, but I'm gonna buy it and we're gonna show you what this does because I think this is actually, this is actually a thing. This is going to sell those. And I think it's actually gonna make it worth it. Put this thing on. Do I look cool yet? Yep. Uh, How cool is that? Does that actually look cool? Yes. You need so, to get two of them. So you can do different things. Wow. So you just turn this and that's different. I like that one. Yeah, that's That matches really cool. my, my, my glasses, it right? It does. So it looks like you got three. You got three different ones. Wow. Why? But why isn't there like the classic orange rings? I guess this is kind of like it. Yeah, except it's red. Okay, the question is, if I put my finger there, will it hurt? Don't. Please don't. Will it hurt? Please don't. I already have a broken leg. Peter. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. This is child safe, guys. Sold okay. by Disney, child safe. You could hit yourself in the head, it's, it's fine. Okay. I wouldn't recommend yeah, it. please don't do that. But how cool is this? <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> Am I cool yet, guys? Yes. I don't know, I think this is actually gonna sell these web shooter things. Yeah. I think this is actually really, the only thing that sucks is like, it's not a fan. Like you'd think like <laughs> I'd go like this and be a fan. Cause think about how many of these you'd sell in Florida. Yeah. If this was a fan and it did that, yeah. <laughs> five out of five, Peter. Ordinary okay. Adventure Star. Okay. And I just wanted to show this off. This isn't something that they sell here in Avengers Campus. But how awesome is this Iron Man lounge fly bag that lights up and everything. And you pop his little helmet off. And you got Tony Stark under there. I don't know. I just thought it was really fun. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It's but, shiny, it's shiny red. I'm not sure where you could purchase this, but you can't purchase it here, unfortunately. <laughs> How cool is that? It's video, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is freaking awesome. This is legitimately so cool. 
<laughs> I the only problem is is like I want two of them. Oh, to have one in both hands? Yeah. I saw some little kids doing that earlier. I was like, damn, that costs that family like hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is how Disney's gonna make back their Avengers campus money. Yeah. This is legitimately really cool. Genius. As Avengers Campus is coming to a close, I spotted Loki and Thor hanging out together near the Sanctum with that, that mysterious object, taking photos with guests. I love this place. I really do love this place. If you want to win this I Have Agamotto sipper, please tell us in the comments below what Avenger that currently isn't in Avengers Campus do you want to see in the campus and tell us why. If you want to see more of our Avengers Campus videos, we'll put the videos <laughs> right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kelly Enos, Jacob Williams, Nathan Wharton, and D. Lester Shepard. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you, you on, the next on the next adventure. I couldn't decide if I wanted, wanted to be Doctor Strange or the Scarlet Witch. <laughs>